Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, where as we were next to Melita Island at the time of ending last episode, thanks to your comments, I now know there's two more treasures to get here in the Temple of Courage. Number one of which is simply to walk down here, no secret path written on the map. For a little bit of an extra walking, we get ourselves a big green rupee. Apart from that, however, let's go round, round, and out. The most important thing is supposedly at the dungeon entrance. So, or well, the dungeon boss entrance is actually more to the point. So taking the teleport, we should be able to bring ourselves to new riches. Supposedly behind here, obviously I didn't attentively look around enough. I was thinking boss, 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 nothing could be here. The map even pretty much states that there's something here. And so with that, we'll grab ourselves a Courage Gem and get back on the ways once more with the power of editing and getting stuck in a corner. And so our sailing journey continues to this new island. As you'll notice, the ship's changed a little bit in its design, which we'll be able to see a lot better as we dock with all these metallic parts that we've been picking up. I've actually been able to earn myself an extra heart on the ship. So with that said and done, Let's find out what's going on here then. Apart from a ton of grass that we could chop for lots of lovely stuff. He says, but... Hello, red guys. Nice to see you all, like, attack me randomly there. Completely useless, however, but we'll pick ourselves up. Another courage gem for coming to the island, I imagine. But still, we cannot jump that far. We need something to be able to get further on here. But what's this? The Shrine at Spirit Island. The Servant Spirit's came here long ago in search of the power to defeat evil. The free spirits used spirit gems to gain the power they required. I'm sure they did. Well, let's head inside. Well, you can light up things if you want. I'll just tap and enter. Are we getting more messages here or more things to read? 10 spirit gems will give great power to a spirit. 20 spirit gems are required for a spirit to fully realize its power. I'm sure. Well, we definitely have ten of at least one of them. Is this a repeat over here? Equip spirits that have been powered up to boost your own abilities. Open the collection screen and tap the spirit icon to equip a powered up spirit. Also, if you tap the same spirit, you will deselect it. You can't utilize a spirit's power unless you equip it. Remember that. Well, sure, but I'm also kind of wondering exactly how many... Oh, we're one short on one of them, but we do have enough to power up power. So with that said... Hollis, I am the servant to the goddess of spirits that dwells in the spring. I have been awaiting your arrival. The spirits that travel with you have not recovered their true strength. To restore their power, you must find spirit gems scattered around the world. Then you must bring them here. Power gems for the spirit of power. Wisdom gems for the spirit of wisdom. Courage gems for the spirit of courage. Collect these and the spirits will recover their true power. Then they will be of even greater assistance to you in your quest. Which spirit gem do you want to present? Well, obviously power at this point. So far you have located 11 power gems. With this many spirit gems, more of your sp spirit of power's true ability will be unleashed. Come forth, spirit of power. Using the spirit gems this boy has collected, search yourself for the true extent of your spirit power. Well, not the true extent. The halfway extent, I guess, would be a better way to say that. With well, that said, the spirit of power has been powered up. Your sword now burns with flames. Swap spirits on the collection screen. We'll do that. May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. Ha! Huh, so I believe you can now swap between your spirits. Can the other spirits take care of you like I do? I guess you won't know until you try. Open the collection screen and see. Sure thing, then. Sorry about this, Sheila. But to be honest, Spirit of Power is level 1 now. And with that, we have a fiery sword. Crazy, okay then. Well, let's move on with Red Cursor. And soon enough, we can unleash even more. It'd be cool if everything burst into flames when I hit it, but still. Hey, look at this. I got a flaming sword now. Seems like something on this island would be worth the trip, but you want to leave already? I do indeed. Because I can't get any further on it, that's for sure. So with another island checked out, we move on. Let's get going, though. If we want to head to the east, 
The best thing for us to be doing at this point in time is to use our slate again. Let's warp over. And remember that whenever we get to our next place, which isn't going to be that far of a journey off, we really need to find ourselves another frog so we can make it nice and fast back and forth. But with that said, the Southeastern Sea, our next destination. Storyline, here we come, though I would doubt my piloting a little bit here. Ooh, okay. My route was not that horrible then. Oh, uh, uh, gotta jump it. Yeah, wahoo, you say? I think I deserve rupees for that. I've also got the fear cannon equipped as well, so look at my ship now. Crazy with its drills and con towers and whatnot and the insect wheel. We move on into the southeastern sea. Right, there seems to be quite a few baddies or nasties in front of me. Should we check out the first place first? Because something seems to be blocking off the other place. And Gorn Island sounds like a great place to start. Alright, lots of cannon ships there. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a... Is that Jolene? It seems to be a normal ship. I should probably look in front of me a bit as well. Was that a pirate ship with the cannon ships? I don't know. Let's just run away for now. Run nice, forward, and mainly away. Am I line that wavy? Ship keeps going back and forth. It's crazy. Well, they're drifting into the distance now. I'm a single enemy on this stint of the voyage, it seems. He says, but now I'm worried. Wow! What in the world is this? Uh-oh. Whoa! That was crazy! Who did that cyclone think it was anyway? The engine is soaked! We're stuck! What? Uh, hang on. Does something feel odd to you? Uh-oh. Yeah, ah, uh, is definitely a thing to say. Look, kid! What on earth is that? What is that disgusting thing? It took the words out of my mouth. And at a time like this, this day couldn't get any worse. Okay, we need to face up to it, Ollis. A monster like that, who knows how to deal with it? Maybe. Oh, fire! Fire, fire, fire! And fire some more! Yeah, as long as you keep shooting, we just might survive this. Oh man, the machinery, you just aim and fire. Well, I'm quite glad that I've got myself at least one extra heart for now. You say fire it, but obviously we've got to hit the eyes. I'd have to say. Can you get piloting this thing fast? Because otherwise things might not be going so well for us soon. You can rotate all you like, but I can't hit it on the side I need to. Right. Bust up these eyes. I'm sorry you got hit. To be honest, I've... Oh, ow, ow. I've mostly DI'd it. Honestly. I'm trying my hardest here. Oh, it seems I can actually shoot the enemies. I got myself a, a heart back there for my troubles. As I take it down. Ooh, lots of tapping there. Fire, fire, and fire some more really was the strategy. Wow, how did we do that? We sent it to the bottom of the sea, Ollis. And hey, the engines had a chance to dry out, so set our course, let's go. Whew. Well, you know where we wanted to go, that's for sure. It seems enemies are always coming back. And now Jolene's marked on the map, so was that Jolene I saw in the distance? Either way, she can't get us here, can she? We're on Gorn Island. It's not like she can't come on dry land. She seems to like her boat and piratiness. Hey, look at the map. No houses. I wonder if there's any pure metal here. Ha, amateur. Places like this always have treasure stowed somewhere. Fine then. You supposedly have a nose for this, so we'll follow your instincts. Can't say if it's pure metal we'll find. Whatever we scare up, it's all mine. I'm chewing on Oshis' uh, the Ocean King's offer, Ollis. He'll grant any wish, then I whip up. But what would you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure right? Or maybe you wish for three more wishes. That's always the cheat way. Lying back. You don't understand Ollis at all, do you? He's doing this for Tetra, for the Ocean King, and to bring peace to the seas. Hmm, you're sort of a good guy, Ollis. Yeah. Wow, that was out of character for me, wasn't it? Blech. Go then! Get out of my sight and fetch me some of that pure metal! 
That's more like character. Oh, that was weird. My mech must have eaten something funny. Whatever, all this. Let's go look for that pure metal. Seems he likes us. Seems he likes us indeed. Well, let's go around and find ourselves our first Goron. You have put your foot on Goron Island, outsider. Make yourself known to all. We Gorons are proud. We do not play with strangers. Okay then. Well, I didn't come here to play exactly. I came here to do stuff. Let's first of all head to the house or the only hut. It seems to be. We're heading into that cave, I think. Well, seems like a shop. A shop that sells bomb chews? Welcome to the only store on Goron Island. Well, I know what I want to buy, but do I have to get a bag for it first? Ten bomb chews for 50 rupees? Fine by me. Oh, I do need a bomb chew bag. Very disappointing. Very disappointing, madame. Your green glasses and purple hair. You could have just gave me the bag as well, couldn't you? Well, it seems like bomb chews are next on our list of items to grab. First and foremost, check in a cave, find a big Goron. How unusual. Rarely see off islanders here, outsider. You have put your foot into a Goron home, which you carve out of solid rock. We find them cozy, since they stay cool in summer and warm in winter. I'm well, sure they do, but can you tell me anything else that's going along here? No, really not? Okay. That's helpful. Helpful Goron guy. Helpful. Well, all that's left is to head upwards with the familiar music. Hello. Have you ever heard of something called a store? We finally have one here. If you lose your shield, you can pick up a new one there, outsider. I don't want to lose my shield. Okay, what what perils have we got here? Fire to lose my shield with or something like that? I really don't want to lose it, but we'll check out what's over here in the meantime, all the same. Suspicious Jar Island, we'll call this place. Oh, I can't make that jump. There's nothing to do. I'm wondering if there's a secret dig spot or something there? Because that would make sense to me. I mean, there has to be treasure everywhere. There's not even an enemy anywhere. Well, more Goron homes. Hello, sir. I'll check your rocks around, though. Actually, you might not want me to. Your face is unknown to me, but I feel fine sharing words with you. And I will share something about our chief. He loves to play question games. Further, he asks questions that dwell upon the many details of our island life. Okay, then. That's cool. So basically talking to all of you is a really good way to make sure this game goes well. I'm guessing these boulders possibly are your food source? But to be honest? Or maybe it's something like, how many boulders are in this person's home? Who knows? Well, it's zero now. But I'm guessing if I get asked that, I'm saying free. Right, so I can't head upwards any further, which is what I would need to be able to get a treasure chest there. Something tells me that's hiding something. Something tells me that's hiding something a lot. Well, anyway, hello, sir. Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. You look at my ship. Or oh, Nineback ship. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she were only mine. What? You've heard that somewhere else? Doubtful outsider. I very much heard it. Stop calling me outsider. It's very mean. You heard my feelings one these days. Hello, little one. Your face is new to me, outsider. Have you come from the ship? My father is staring at it. That bothers me. If only someone would tell him. Just tell him what? Tell him what? That it bothers you. Okay. I'm sure I can sort that out. That looks like something was there then. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. If it lets me. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if only she were mine. Well, I tried to tell him, kid. I really tried. It's just not going to go the right way for you. Oh. Hello, Goron on the switch. Can you press that for me? Give a shout if you need anything. Hey, Goron! I did say hey. I literally did say it, but well, whatever. You want to come over here outside? I'll put the bridge out for you. Why, thank you. Thank you kindly, sir. Well, with that said, we'll go the opposite way, because that's the way we do things. Right. Let's look for anything else here. An outsider, have you ever heard of a wood heart? I love them so much. We Gorons eat the small wood hearts in order to grow into big Gorons. I'm sure you do. Well, I'm guessing that's going to be a question. Gorons eat wood hearts to mature. Something along those lines should be about right, hey? Hello there, choose. I don't know who you are, outsider, but I'm glad to see you. There are some strange creatures on that cliff. Please make them go away. You see that, but they're a little bit too far. 
But they might not be if I choose to shoot. So with that said, well that's a strange thing in the first place. Okay, you're a regenerative seed that drops arrows or something along those lines? And to be honest, my shooting ain't that bad. I've done enough mini games, so I can get it done for you, no problem. Thank you, Outsider. I'm relieved that those strange creatures are gone. You are a good stranger, Outsider, so please accept this token of my thanks. And we'll take a treasure map, thank you. And in our section as well. Alright, well apart from that, I'll take more arrows to restore me. My flaming sword. Continue onwards. Always know you can find good stuff if you go the opposite way of the path you need to. Now you can cross anytime you want. No toll, of course. I'm glad there's not a toll bridge. But I've got tons of rupees anyway, so it wouldn't really bother me. You are an off islander. We do not share words easily with strangers here. So I surely cannot tell you that our elder's, elder's house is up there. Okay then. Well, it seems we found the elder, but to be honest, I'm wondering if there's any more Gorons to visit and learn anything from first, and it seems there is. Hello, you. Do you know the big Goron secret, Outsider? What we call our island's Goron Amber is actually, on second thought, it's too soon for you to know, Outsider. Oh, really? There's something in here, isn't there? Okay, I thought that thing shook then, but obviously not. I'll take bombs, thank you. Right then, with Elder we have reached. Though, also, there's other places to go. Ah, you're not going to let me through, are you, though? Hey, little stranger, you are no Goron. Only members of the Goron tribe could go through here. Time to prove myself, then, I guess. Hey, I think that does it. We've spoken to everyone on the island. Let's go see the Elder. Well, it seems I might have slightly sequence broke, but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Speaking to everyone on the island is never a bad thing. Getting treasure from underground, also, never really bad. Right then, hello kid. I haven't spoken to everyone then. If the Goron Elder's got a son, you've entered the home of the Elder Goron, the leader of our proud tribe. I'm his son, Gon Goron. We do not take kindly to off islands, a stranger. I'm sure you don't. Well, sir, I've spoken to everyone. I am Big Goron, the Elder of this island. Nice name. It's very much passed down in their lineage, isn't it? Oh, so it is pure metal that you seek, outsider. That is a potent Goron symbol. I will speak of it no further to an outsider. You must first become a member of our tribe if you wish to learn more. So make yourself known to each and every Goron, then we will speak again. Dun dun dun. Oh, but wait. It seems you have already done that, have you not? But does your desire to become a Goron burn to your very core? Let me probe into the matter with a game of questions. Care to take the initiation test? It costs money, okay. Just what I like to hear. First, let me explain the rules. I will ask you six questions and give you a prize for each correct answer. But get just one wrong and I will take everything back. I will also grant you one Goro hint that eliminates one of the wrong answers. Oh, multiple choice, eh? You will understand best if you simply try it. First question. How many Gorons live on this island? Oh, no. Right, so oh, I should have marked them all down. Right, there was at least one, two houses, three houses. Oh my goodness, well, I'll take the gory hint for here. Yeah, sure. I was thinking it was 12, not 14, but... It must be 14. Yeah, because you two as well. Right, we've got a green rupee, but we've already used our hint. How many homes are there on this I Oh, wah! Right, there was... I really should have marked these down the map, shouldn't I? Right, there was one here. Uh, I can't mark them at the moment. Oh, actually, I can. So there was one here-ish. There was one here-ish. There was one here-ish. There was one here-ish. And one here-ish, wasn't there? But does this count as a home? Not that I went for six! It moved! Ah! It moved! Right, I'm pretty sure it's six if you count this one as well, but I've got rupees to burn, so it's cool. Are the questions still in the same order? Okay. Yes, yeah, see? I knew what I knew I was right. That's so annoying. Right, we've got that one. Impressive next question. The Goron at this spot. Oh, what is he he's staring at the ship? Correct! A misclick is terrible. Let's not misclick again. Well done, next question. How many Gorons live on this island? We've done that one. 
It was 14. I'm fine with that. I think I'll earn our rupees back as well if I get it all right. You're amazing. You've answered half the questions with ease. But how will you fare with the remaining three? Let us find out outside. In fact, I'd have got them all correct if I didn't misclick. What color were the odd creatures on the cliff? They were yellow. Yeah, don't, don't be like that. Don't go, err. I beat them up, it's fine. Your desire to be one of us burns very bright. Yes, but two questions remain, and I wonder if you will survive our initiation. So next question. How many Gorons are outside right now? Ah! Wait, there's 14 Gorons and six homes, right? And in this home, there's two Gorons, so that's seven Gorons inside and seven Gorons outside. Aha! Simple mathematics! Oh, I can barely tell you from a Goron stranger. So close, so very close. Answer this final question right, and you will officially be a member of us Gorons. What is on this spot? A rock, tree, or a chest? Well, it's tre It's chest, definitely. Is that your ultimate answer? Yes. If I'm wrong, it is correct indeed. Don't worry, I noticed chest, so I would have got them all right if it wasn't for that misclick. Ugh. Congratulations, you are now an official brother of our proud Goron tribe. And so it shall now and forever be that we call you Goro Wallis. Gorollis. I must do it, 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 it runs that, it runs, it really does. Also reward your deep knowledge with this. We got a wisdom gem. In fact, enough wisdom to actually power up our sword with wisdom, yes? Ahem. And now, because you are an official member, I need to collect the official Jews. Just a one-time payment, of course, 146 rupees. Let me guess, we got one rupee, we got five rupees, then we got two lots of 20 rupees, and we got one lot of 100 rupees, and nothing for our last question, if I'm right? So basically, we pay all our money back? Apart from, well, we got the wisdom gem. <laughs> it's just, 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 ah. Thank you, you are now a brother of the Goron tribe in good standing. Enjoy your proud Goron life on our island. So, Chief, how about that pure metal? Oh yes, I'm growing forgetful in my old age. You're not exactly that old, sir. The pure metal is now in our temple. I put it there for safekeeping. You are now one of us. You are free to take it to Goro Ollis. Goro Ollis. A little Gongoron there will show you to the temple. All right then, Gongoron. Time to take me away, but you'll have to take me away next episode. So tune in then for more Phantom Hourglass as we head into whatever counts for the Goron Temple, I imagine it might be called, but we'll find out its name when we get there. First and foremost, though, it looks like we've got a maze above us. Oh, no. Tune in then. Bye-bye.